सो फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एंड फील्ड्स वट आई सेट इज दैट इन इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स वी हैव टू चैप्टर्स द फर्स्ट वन इज इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एंड फील्ड्स ओके सो इन दिस इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एंड फील्ड टूडे आई विल डिस्कस फ्रॉम द एनसीआर टी बुक फर्स्ट फाइव थिंग्स राइट फ्रॉम द इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑलरेडी विल डिस्कस इट इन द वर्ड्स देन आई विल डिस्कस वन पॉइंट वन वन पॉइंट टू वन पॉइंट थ्री वन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन इज द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड वन पॉइंट टू ऑफ एन सी आर टी इज इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एंड देन वन पॉइंट all of you know about the conductor and insulators conductors and insulators then 1.4 is charging by induction though there is a charge charging by friction and conduction also we'll discuss in conductor there is charging by induction and the last one is the basic properties of electric charge so properties of electric charge so we will discuss today these topics basic properties of electric charge okay so first of all we will just discuss about the introduction introduction you know that it's a an electrostatic all of you know when we talk about the electrostatics it is simply we say electron plus statics so that means electron at rest charges at rest electron at rest so electrostatic is basically the field in which we study about the forces fields potential arising due to static charges that means study of charges at rest so this is electrostatics so in this first unit we are talking about the charge at rest behavior of charge regarding its electric field electrostatic potential electric potential electric potential energy so what are electric charges okay so electric charges we will discuss that how the electric charges have come and how when we talk about the electric charges the word charge is very important how if i talk about a matter matter is the very important part of thing you have already gone through the gravitation which was based on the mass now if you see matter further it is the molecules okay then atoms and then there are three sub atomic particles one is electron one is proton and another is neutron so these three particle are the sub atomic particles which consists of charge we know that an electron has minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb same is the proton it has a positive charge with the same value 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and the neutron is a neutral charge even we can say plus minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so what are electric charges basically they are intrinsic intrinsic property intrinsic property of what sub atomic particles sub atomic particles particles of matter so intrinsic property of particle matters okay so these are the charges 
and among the three the fundamental charge is the charge of electron so the least charge if the question comes which is the least charge then the least charge is the charge of electron minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and another important thing is the charge is represented by capital q or small q whereas i unit is coulomb and the coulomb was the scientist who gave electrostatic force so coulomb we SI unit is coulomb and cgs unit is stat coulomb stat coulomb and we know that one coulomb is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 9 stat coulomb so this relation can also be asked in the paper so 3 into 10 to the power 9 stat coulomb so this is the basic thing regarding with the electric charge that uh, it was uh, way back in 60, 600 BC that amber rod was actually rubbed with a silk cloth or woolen cloth and that attracted the light objects. So similar type of thing we have seen in the different type of experiment also that how charging takes place. We know one of the very uh, important experiment that you rub a comb on your dry hairs and you can attract easily the, the small pieces of paper. Now one example is that when a glass rod rubbed with silk cloth. Okay. So glass rod attains positive charge. Okay, positive charge. Now what does it mean? It means that glass rod, why it is positive charge? Because it has lost electrons. And silk have gained what? electrons okay now if you bring a, a glass rod in front of the other glass rod okay, there is another glass rod so you see a very interesting thing there is a sudden repulsion now all of you know that the gravitational force was an attractive force that means there is another force which is going to come and that is based on the charge. Laterly it was known as Coulomb's law of electrostatics. Okay, so when a glass rod rubbed with silk cloth, a glass rod attains positive charge. That means when you attain a positive charge, you are losing electron, the silk is gaining electron. If you bring a two glass rods, then sudden repulsion was absorbed and that in the same way, when a ebonite rod or we can say a plastic rod. So when a ebonite rod rubbed with woolen cloth, okay, what happened? Abonite rod becomes negative charge. Now in the same way, if you bring an abonite rod in front of another abonite rod, what you see is the sudden repulsion. Again, this it's not a gravitational force. So all of thought that it is not based on mass, there's a sudden repulsion. Now finally when we bring a glass rod rubbed with silk cloth that is the positive charge glass rod in front of the abonite rod which was rubbed with the woolen cloth there was a very interesting thing both were attraction so there was an attraction. 
So, from this also we conclude that charges are of two types. Positive charge and negative charge. One is this. And the basic property is that like charges repel each other. Okay. Like charges repel each other. And unlike charges, unlike charges attract each other. Unlike charges attract each other. So, this is how we say that about the electric charges. So, again I will repeat. Once again I will just give you the view that uh, the electric charges from where it has come. The matter molecules, atoms, three type of charges. Electron, proton, neutron. Electron has a negative charge. Proton plus. Neutron is neutral charge. Zero charge. Fundamental charge is charge of electron represented by Q or small q coulomb, CGS unit, strat coulomb. They are the intrinsic property of subatomic particles of matter. Then we talked about that, how the, how the glass rod was rubbed with silk cloth, how the glass rod attains positive charge, gaining and losing of electron. And then same is with the ammonite rod rubbed with woolen cloth, then ammonite rod becomes negative charge. Now there is one experiment related with the this charging and that is a gold leaf experiment. Though with this experiment we can show you in the lab we have a gold leaf uh, electroscope. So nothing is there that you just see that how the charging affects. Now if you see a gold leaf electroscope uh, if I just make it like this it's a uh, it's a box where we can have like this and uh, when we talk about the box is this one then there's a hole then there's a knob and there's a knob on the top it's a metal knob and uh, and uh, there's a metal rod very interesting and then we have the gold leaves inside this box. We have the gold leaves like this. Here are the gold leaves. Uh, and there's a glass window. This one is a glass window. It's completely covered by the glass. Now when we when we take any charge rod, say we take we rub a scale or a comb on dry hairs, and then we take a near it and we touch it with this so if you take a glass rod what happens this will also become this will also become positive charge that no when you touch it so entire positive charge is going to transfer down this is going to transfer down and then those two leaves will get separated because both are what positive charge so what we see is that there is a sudden repulsion and we can experience it in the lab also so this is a gold leaf uh, electroscope and we'll do this activity in the lab to see that how the charging affects the all of you know that when you rub a comb on dry hairs, we can easily attract the pieces of paper. So this is what how we can say that there is a charging on that. So this is a gold leaf electroscope experiment. We will discuss it in the lab. Now we will come out, we will talk about the, uh, the topic which is now in 1.3. 1.1 was the introduction. So 1.2 was regarding the uh, regarding the uh, electric charge and you saw about the charge so in next we are going to discuss about conductor and insulators